Denise Marinowski. I'm running for Fourth Ward Alderman also. Um, I will have lived in Lockport only six years come April. It will be our sixth year. We came from a uh, small suburb, Marionette Park. I grew up in the city of Chicago. Uh, my husband and I have been married for 40 years, and uh, we have four children. We came out this way because we were looking to retire, which we are, and we just fell in love with Lockport, the, the city, the downtown. We just love the area. We've come to love the people. We love our community. We live in the Lago Vista community. Uh, I started, I was active in our homeowners association, and I am president of our uh, association, the Charleston Association. I've been president for four years. Before that, I was the treasurer for a year. I worked in accounting uh, after I had three years of college, and then I went and worked in the accounting field. I did payroll and billing and accounts payable for a uh, Hillman's Finer Foods. I don't know if anybody here <laughs> that they went defunct after you know several years and also Gaber's Caterers was part of there. Uh, I, when I got married and started having children, I was a stay-at-home mom. Uh, so that was, I ran our household. We are fiscally balanced. We own our home. We, you know, we, uh, it was a good life. My husband had a good job. Uh, I started attending city council uh, meetings as a result of getting to know the community and uh, I became actively involved uh, with the water discussions because the increase is going to be so large that it was important for the council to get input from the citizens. Then when that big increase in was okay, even though it could have been smaller, still it, it wasn't irresponsible, I don't think. Then they turned around and went for this 5% uh, utility and 6% telecommunications tax. And I just, I couldn't believe it that they were going to tax us that much when they just taxed us again. And I tried to, you know, with other people to tell you this is going to hurt us. This is too much. We can't handle all this tax. We're in a recession. So uh, they wouldn't hear any of it. And um, our alderman, John Crows, who was appointed by the mayor, I had people peti sign petitions saying how difficult this was going to be. And then when they weren't budging, I was the one that came up with the sales tax increase because I researched and saw that they could they were determined to have 1.8 million dollars and they could get 1.4 million with the sales tax uh, increase and at least only Lockport people wouldn't be hurt with it. If I had been on the council none of those taxes would have passed because I would not have voted for that utility tax. Unfortunately we had no choice because our council could pass that utility tax without any approval from the residents. So that's why I decided to run. I feel that I am able to understand positions. I am able to understand facts. I have a good ability to research if I don't understand something. Uh, I'm willing <coughs> to try to find a compromise solution to a real problem, but I am for the people. I'm not going to tax people because I think some, because it's going to make me look good to some somebody else. That's not what I'm about. And I just want the opportunity to be able to work for the citizens of Lockport. And I thank you for listening to me. Thank, thank you. you Denise. Great question. Oh,